Hi, this is lesson number 18 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, I am going to teach you very interesting and amazing technique how to turn an image to pencil sketch using Photoshop. Here in my screen, you can see the image. This is the result. And here we have original image. So if I will click on this image in my layer palette, we have some settings. At the most bottom, this is the original layer. Here we have another two duplicates. In this background copy, we inverted the image. Here we added adjustment layer level, another to desaturate the image. And at the top here we have composite layer. This is the final result we have from these all layers. Another thing I will recommend use medium size image to get the better result. If you have a really high resolution image, bigger in size, the result from the command such as blur, it will not be much clear. So I have your medium size image. If I will show you the size, right click image size and that is 1280 by 1150. Before we go through this process, I want to explain you something about adjustment layer. In our previous lesson, we learned how to create new fill or adjustment layer. If we click on this button here next to the add layer mask, at the top here we have solid color, gradient and pattern and under that we have some controls to adjust the image. Except solid color, gradient and pattern, these all commands we have also in our image menu under adjustment. If I will click here, go to adjustment and you can see here brightness, level, curve, exposure. But what's the difference here? Once you will use the command from here, let's say level or brightness, the effect is permanent. If I will click on the brightness and contrast and increase the brightness and click OK, once I will save the file and close it and open back again, I will not get back the original state of the image unless I have the copy in my layer palette. Control Z undo. But same command, once we will use from layer palette, here we have also brightness and contrast. If I will click, now brightness and contrast properties open. And if I will go back to the layer, you can see clearly that Photoshop added new layer for brightness and contrast. And there is another advantage of this, there is a mask. Once you will apply brightness and contrast, not only you will have the control to adjust it or delete it later, but also you have control to customize the effect. If you apply brightness and contrast and the effect you want to reveal or hide in some part of the image, still you can do under mask. I hope that's clear. Let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is to create the duplicate. It is simple. Just click and drag it to this button here and we have a duplicate. We are going to desaturate this meaning to say this will be the black and white version of the original. So there is a several way. If you want directly, you can just go to the image adjustment and here we have desaturate and simply the image is black and white. Somehow we can do that, but we don't have any control to add it or customize the effect. Control Z to go back. We are going to add an adjustment layer over the background copy. So here we have create new fill or adjustment layer, add hue and saturation. Also here you can use black and white to achieve the same result. I am going to use hue and saturation. This is the property of hue and saturation and here we have two button. This is the effect and if I will click here, it is a mask. Okay. To go back in the layer palette, you can click here and same that two button you can see here. If I want to customize or edit the mask, I will double click here. And if I want to change some setting under hue and saturation, I will click on this button. We can minimize here. If you cannot see the property palette here, you can go to the window. And here we have properties. Once you will click, it will be part of your current workspace. In the layer palette, we are going to edit the effect. So double click here and desaturate all the way saturation slider bring back and that's all. Now let's go back to the layer. The next step is to invert the background copy. Okay. In our previous lesson, we learned how to invert the mask. To invert the mask, you need to click on the mask thumb 
and then press control I. Same way if you want to invert the image you need to click on the image layer. Here we have a background copy and press control I. If you want you can go to the image adjustment and here we have option invert and the shortcut is control I. Just click it our image is inverted. It is like negative film. Now is the time to change the blend mode of this layer. Currently it is normal. If you want really smooth effect you can use linear dodge but to get the dense and sharp edges I will recommend color dodge. So once you will click on the color dodge your image will look like this. Now the next step is to apply the filter. Background copy is selected. Go to filter, blur, click on Gaussian blur and that's all. Here my setting is 30. Depending on your image size you might increase or reduce. I will leave as it is. Click OK. To achieve the effect little bit more strong add another adjustment layer level and here I am going to slide up the mid tune. So you can see it is getting dark that is fine. Alright. Let us go back. Now if you feel in some area the image is really dark you can customize the mask. In our level adjustment layer the mask is selected. Make sure that your foreground color is black. If not you can click here and then click on this double edit arrow to switch. Use some soft brush. You can set the size. In my case it is ok. The area you want to bright up or lighten just brush there this way. Now if you want to see the mask you can press alt key and click on the mask. So this is what we did by pressing alt key once again click to get back the image. Now another thing the shade around the nose under the chin we need to apply smoothness. To achieve the smooth result we will duplicate the original. So select the background here we have another copy. In this layer we will apply blur. We can adjust the smoothness using blur tool. In our toolbox here we have blur tool. In our previous lesson we learned how to use this tool. Click on blur tool. By pressing square bracket left and right next to the letter P you can increase and reduce the brush size and simply brush the area you want to blur like this. that is fine. Now the next thing we are going to do is to clean up the area around. And to do that we need to add composite layer. What is composite layer? Composite layer is to get the final result in a single flat layer. So whatever you can see in the canvas here Photoshop will create one flat layer for that. To create composite layer we need to press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and E. Control Alt Shift E and here we have composite layer. At this point it is under inverted layer we need to bring it to the top. So the result from these all layers here we have in a single solid layer. Now we are going to clean up the area around. Simply I will use the brush with the white color. Carefully you need to clean the area around. Do not get close to the image. I can reduce the brush size. That is all. So this is how we turn an image to a pencil sketch using few simple and easy steps. That is all for now. I hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice. Guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video. Thank you.